Hello traders. This video is a part of a multi video series covering in depth information about an awesome options platform called the options desk. This platform is provided for free to all the users of go charting. And in this video, we'll be looking at a few basic features of this platform and how it can be useful to you as a trader. If you open the homepage of go charting and click on upgrade plan, you can see that options desk is provided for free for all the users of go charting who have subscribed to any data pack. Click on options desk and click on India equity options to access the home page of the options desk platform. This is a beautiful platform for all options traders as it has various functionalities and various tools that you can use to improve your trading, improve your analysis of the markets. And now we'll look at a few basic features of this tool. To your left, you will see various screens, option chain, payoff chart, price chart, dashboard, and so on. If you click on options chain, you will see an overview of the option chain. You can switch to the instrument here, be it Nifty, Bank Nifty, or any stock option chain that you want to have a look at. And to your right side, you have an option of whether it's a virtual trading or real trading that can be switched according to your preference. And you have various views of option chain as well. This is a standard view. You also have various other views like the stacked view, heat flow, or the straddle view. In this series, we'll be covering in depth about each and every functionality of this platform and how it can be useful to you, how it will add value to you as a trader and how it will uh, help you develop your edge as a trader. This is a basic option chain of Nifty with uh, 32 strikes and the weekly expiry is chosen. You can, see, you, you, you can see various expiries here like the weekly expiry, the week after next, the 10 days to expiry and then the 17 days with the date of expiry hovering above it. This is the weekly expiry and to your left side, you have the call options and to the right side, you have put options with uh, uh, the ITM probability, open interest, open interest change and so on. You also have OI sense, which indicates uh, what kind of interest buildup is happening in, in a particular strike. For example, is it short winding, uh, short covering, sorry, short buildup or uh, long unwinding and so on. If you go to the left side, you can see that you have the option to buy or sell an option. That is, you can add them to a basket and analyze your trades as well. If you want to change the overview of the option chain, the way you are seeing it, you can also have a price-based overview where it displays the, uh, the last traded price, the percentage change in price, and the bid and the ask price of various strikes as well. One thing to note here is that in live markets, the price changes are change at an interval of every one minute. That is, the prices get updated at an interval of one minute. However, if you connect your broker's API to this platform, you can directly place trades to your broker as well in your broker's platform, and the update of the prices here would be real time. Only in option chain, if you do not connect it to your broker's API, the prices get updated once in a minute, but for the rest of the platform in option desk, any price, for example, let's say the price chart, you have the price chart here, you can choose the any strike price of Nifty and the prices would get updated real time. You also have an option to visualize the option chain in the form of Greeks. You can see that and now the option chain of Nifty, uh, I can see the Greeks of each strike, Delta, Gamma, Theta, etc. In this case, it, it entirely depends on to the user how uh, they need to visualize the option chain as per their requirements. You can, you can see every kind of data set in the option chain with an option to create baskets and to create various strategies as well. Let's, let's say that uh, you, you were to deploy a short strangle. Uh, and you would like to see how how it is shown in the payoff chart. Let's say this is this is the 30 minutes chart of Nifty, 
and you would like to place a short strangle for the strikes of nifty let's say using basic price action nifty has a good support at uh, 16 7 30 odd levels and to the top side you see that 17 430 has resistance so if you were to sell 17 450 call option and 17 sorry 16 700 put option let's see how that works go to the payoff chart and click on add custom strategy you can name the strategy as per your wishes for example short strangle the date of expiry click on plus to add a leg and uh, you will see that uh, a screen pops up a tab pops up with the option to add legs of various options uh, we wanted to add 17 450 on the call side so here i'm clicking on s which is for sell and you will see that a window pops up in which you can modify your entry price the number of quantities let's say that i want to short five contracts and this is whether it's a call or a put and you can modify the entry price if you want as well and then click on paper trade the reason why it's added to paper trade is because i've chosen virtual trading here and then i would i would like to add 16 750 put option for example Again, five contracts, and I'm adding it to my paper strategy. If I click on go back to positions, you can see the option positions that you have taken with the number of contracts and also the payoff graph. I hope this video was useful to you folks. If yes, please make sure to like and comment. Also do subscribe to the channel. Let us know which functionality of options desk would you like a review on next thank you